Well, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought, what the heck, because I've got a few new uh, things I've picked up. <clears throat> so, first of all, that's a high standard, belonged to my grandfather. It sort of works. Eh. This is a uh, one-of-a-kind uh, black powder 36 caliber target pistol. And this is uh, in deference to my uh, uh, being a fan of Ian McCollum. These are both Lafano pinfires in here. And, you know, I, I, Ian is very much into French rifles and so am I. So, up here, the first one, that's a Berthier carbine. I've uh, tried to restore it. It's in awful shape. This is a Berthier rifle right here. Uh, much longer. Same, uh, same basic design, but much, much longer. Uh, this is an M95 copy, or not copy, uh, built on a LaBelle uh, from uh, World War I. This is a carbine version of the LaBelle. It's uh, in, uh, or it's an M35, I can't remember. I know it's made in 1935. Uh, this one actually is in 39, made in 39. Whatever. This is a Moss 36, the next one. Uh, that's the, uh, uh, was going to be the substitute uh, standard for the French infantry just before World War II, but <clears throat> the invasion by, by Germany caught them off guard. So they never got to their other, which was the Moss 44. This is a Moss 4956. This is one of the uh, Century Arms imports, which means it's been converted to 308. <clears throat> now I could go through all of these in the this, this Lazy Susan, but uh, let's just say uh, these two are uh, Swedish rifles. Uh, M95, I think it's called a, what is it called? I can never remember. Uh, M96. This one was made by Husqvarna, the people who make chainsaws. This is a uh, Mosin de Gant uh, 9130. Here we have an old Remington in 25 Remington. This is a uh, sporting rifle from, uh, oh gosh, about the 1930s, I guess. Uh, that's a uh, model 1888 commission rifle for uh, for Germany. Uh, <coughs> predated the uh, Mauser 98. And this is a, uh, oh gosh, what's going on there? Oh, I see what's happening. Let me get around here. Uh, where was I? Okay, commission rifle. Then we have, uh, that's the commission rifle. This is a uh, uh, Czechoslovakian, no, Turkish Mauser. It's made in Ankara. This is a uh, sporterized uh, seven millimeter uh, Spanish Mauser, and this is a Turkish uh, M94. Or isn't it? Is it? I don't remember. Yeah, this is an M94. Or excuse me, M24. Uh, their uh, their version of the uh, uh, of the uh, Gewehr 98. It's actually made. This is actually made on Mauser tooling. The Czechoslovakia purchased right after World War I from Mauser. Here's a homemade uh, uh, AR just for uh, for giggles. And here we have a uh, this is a uh, model 1917 Enfield. I've done a video on that one. And this one is a what is this? Oh yeah, this is a uh, Type 4, I think, uh, uh, 1903 Springfield. Um, okay. These are all 22s. So uh, we have a 1022. This is a Remington. Uh, no, excuse me, that's the Remington. This is a Savage Stevens uh, single shot. And the one on the bottom is a Wadi made in Austria. It's a parlor gun in 22 CB or uh, cap. Now, up here, we have a uh, CZ. Uh, what is it? 80, I think. It's a 380 that uh, they were just making when uh, along comes uh, a bunch of Nazis to take over the Bruno factory and they said, okay, you continue making those and ship them off to the uh, the guys in the, on the Eastern Front. So you see those mainly on the Eastern Front, not on the Western. This one's a Spanish copy uh, under license of the Mauser HSC done in 380. Uh, 
Then this is a Calico 22 pistol. That's a 100 round helical magazine uh, thing that's just an absolute awesome range toy. Now, this, this, and this are French pistols. Uh, this is, and this is a mile 1935, 18, no, excuse me, 1935A and S and a uh, mob. These are uh, what were used by uh, uh, the French after World War I. Uh, and then the last one there is a Beretta made licensed copy uh, made in uh, Cairo uh, called the Helwan. This is a model 1922 uh, FN uh, 32 Auto. This is a Warner comp uh, Infallible uh, 1903 Colt and a uh, uh, Smith and Wesson uh, 35 Smith and Wesson pistol. Here we have a uh, CZ 52 uh, that's in 762 by 25 uh, Tokarev. And speaking of Tokarev, this is a Romanian Tokarev. Here we have a Type 14 Nambu and a uh, 30 caliber Luger commercial model. From the top, that's a 12 gauge shotgun made on the pattern, or actually made from a uh, uh, Enfield, or is it Enfield? Gosh, I can't even remember. But that's from a British, uh, uh, was a Martini Henry, excuse me, that's a Martini Henry action. It's made into a uh, sporterized uh, 12 gauge. It's a very beautiful gun. Next one's just a cheap, uh, I don't even remember who made it, uh, for 410 uh, bolt action. Next is an 1897 Winchester in 12 gauge, and uh, this one, and this is a Savage Stevens in 12 gauge single shot. That was my dad's gun. This is a uh, G98, or no, K98K uh, Mauser from World War II. And here we have a model 1895 Winchester lever action. This is the one that Teddy Roosevelt called his big medicine. That is in the same caliber, I haven't gotten there yet, as my uh, Craig Jorkinson over the door here, 3040 Craig. I have one other in 3040 Craig. This is an Enfield, let me see, uh, yeah, that one. This is an Enfield that's done in uh, 3040 Craig as a sporter uh, rifle. And now, what do we have? Uh, 50, 5070, or 50, yeah, 5070, uh, 1868. It's in a really, er, really early trapdoor. Uh, on is that it? Oh no, we have uh, the rest of these. Uh, this is a uh, next one down here. Oh gosh, is this running out of power? I don't know why I'm, it's blinking at me. Uh, so the problem with these is you just really can't tell what the heck they're doing. Uh, this is a cheap Chinese camera. Uh, this one is a uh, uh, M95 uh, uh, rank uh, Austro-Hungarian uh, carbine built off of the uh, Mondlicher they used in World War I. And the next one is a uh, Type 60, is that a Type 64? No, the bottom one's a Type, 6, uh, type 24, excuse me, uh, CZ's 24 carbine. And the one above that, I think, is a Spanish carbine. You know, yeah, that's a Spanish carbine. Now up here we have a Vetterli. That's an Italian Vetterli. That's uh, from, uh, there was a substitute standard of uh, World War II for the Italians. <coughs> Made from an original, I think it was 41 caliber. Uh, they put it in a 6.5 Carcano. Here we have a bunch of uh, German mouse guns, starting with a um, Walther PPK. That's a Dreisa. Uh, this is a, uh, what do we have here? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ortgies. This is a uh, uh, Sauer und Schul. Uh, this is a Mauser HSC and a Mauser Model 1914. At the bottom here we have an SKS, a Model VZ-52, and a uh, Spanish Setme. Here we have some Egyptian rifles. This is a uh, Rashid and a Hakim. Uh, I can go on and on about those. Up here we have a Belgian uh, Beaumont, 
a Dutch Beaumont, excuse me. I don't know. That's a Dutch Beaumont. And 41 Beaumont. Hard to make rounds for that. This is a uh, M96 uh, Mauser. And, uh, oh, this, let's do these first. That's a uh, Freedom Arms, I think it's called, 22 Rimfire. The next one is a um, uh, Amy Army San Marcos uh, copy of the Single Action Army done in 3220. These two are a uh, uh, French Service Revolver 1892 done in 8mm uh, French Service, uh, erroneously called uh, uh, no, Lebel. And the next is a Russian Nagant uh, in 30 Nagant. Now let's go to black powder. This is a Lamont, and that is a 1851 and 44 uh, ball. At the top here we have a what's the name of it? Darn, I always forget the name of this dang thing. I just I can never remember the name of it. It's a uh, let me get it under the light here. And oh, I gotta do it this way. I've got to put on my glasses before I do that. Let me hold on, hold on just a second while I put my glasses on. Damn blind old coot. Okay. This is a, uh, oh, uh, made in Utica. A Rogers and Spencer. That's it. Probably the best black powder re revolver ever made. <clears throat> it was made for the North during the Civil War. Unfortunately, it wasn't shipped until. Uh, Appomattox. So uh, though the government had ordered them, they said, well, go ahead and send them. So they sent them. They put them in a warehouse and uh, they stayed there for many, many years. These two are uh, uh, Remingtons. That's a, a steel one and a brass one uh, for uh, the Civil War. This is an 1847 Walker. That's a Dragoon. A, uh, that's an Army, uh, 1860 Army. 1851 Navy, and an 1862 Pocket Police. That's my Colt collection. This is a, um, was it, um, Griswold and Gunnison. This is a Dance Revolver, and that's a uh, Spiller and Burr. Here we have a, uh, uh, I think a 60 caliber uh, uh, flitlock, and this is some kind of fantasy gun a fellow made that I picked up. Okay, here, these are three Arasakas, uh, models uh, 38 and two model 99s. The one on the bottom is a, no, excuse me, the one in the middle is a last ditch, and uh, they're kind of interesting. The uh, revolver laying there is a Smith & Wesson uh, 1917 from uh, World War I. That is an 1859 Sharps. Kind of cool, isn't it? These two are uh, Swiss, excuse me, yes, yeah, Swiss. The top, top one is a um, uh, model M1911, uh, also called a uh, Carl Gustav, and the bottom one is an M31, probably the most accurate uh, issued uh, rifle, bolt-action rifle, ever, uh, military rifle. Here we have a uh, Thompson Center Contender. I've got that silver box contains many, many, many barrels. Up here is a Frank Wesson. In 32 rimfire. I fired it exactly once. And over here we have, oh come on thing, over here we have a uh, brown bass musket from the Revolutionary War. Actually these are all facsimiles. They don't have any originals of these. But this one, these are kind of neat. This is a, uh, oh a little Beretta pocket pistol in 22. But this and this, let me get the other one out, that's a model 1917 Savage, and this is a model 1907. Uh, those are, uh, those are for real. This is a real um, 1892 uh, New Army and Navy uh, Colt, in 41 long Colt, sitting on the factory litter. That belonged to my great-grandfather. And this is a uh, I forget who made it, but it's a uh, typical uh, Saturday night special, you might say. It's in, uh, I think, 38 uh, Smith & Wesson Long. Okay, next up, we have these three pistols, or four pistols. This is the uh, cavalry pistol 
And this is the army pistol for the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This is a 1907 Rothsteyr, and these two are 1912 Steyr Hans. This one is an 8mm Rothsteyr. These two are in 9x23 uh, Steyr, which is a, pro a proprietary cartridge for them that wasn't made after World War I. And this is a uh, Model 400 Astra in 9mm uh, uh, Bergman Bayard, also known as Largo. And that's just a little Mauser 25 I picked up. Okay, my last two pistols oh, are this is a Frank Wesson from 1859 that shoots 22 rimfire short black powder. This, also shooting black powder 22 rimfire short, is a uh, Ivor Johnson. And those are my pistols and rifles out here.